Today you had three sacks and it's the most by defensive tackle since Aaron Donald in 2011 against Utah. Uh, I know Aaron's one of your role models. How does that feel to be mentioned in the same breath as him? Um, it's definitely a blessing and an honor. Um, I'm just happy to be able to perform at that level and I give all credit to the scout team for giving me a great look this past week. Did you feel like maybe you had to step up a little bit this week because Keyshawn being hot, Weaver being hot, you know, other guys in the D-line have to sort of pick up the slack? Uh, of course. like. Um, once I found out that Keyshawn was injured, I mean, me and him had a talk in the hallway, and he was just saying, like, you got to step up more and be more vocal. So I took that in consideration and just went out for him. Were you more vocal? And in what way were you vocal? Um, just telling all the other guys, like Devin Daniels and Tyler Bentley and David Green, like, hey, we got to step up. You know, we lost two of our main players on the D-line, and we just got to cover for them guys and have their back. How did the rest of the guys in the room respond to that, knowing that they had to take that challenge on? These were some three of your main guys that are out now. Um, you know, we took it as a great challenge, and we was like, you know, we always talk about it, and we always prepare for that moment, like, hey, next man up. Like, even when I was a true freshman, we had a lift with Coach Andrews called Next Man In, so we've always been preparing for that even when we first walked in the program. They like today, you make play some plays at three, uh, three sack, ball and models getting in the backfield. As a unit, how'd you guys feel as far as getting through the flow of the game? Uh, our D-line coach, Coach Partridge, always teach us that when we take the field, we want to be felt, and that's something that we keep um, building on to and game in and game out, and we're just going to keep working. Did you feel any added pressure defensively because uh, the offense was struggling a little bit in the second half without scoring? I mean, it kind of backs up against the wall a little bit? Uh, pressure only bust pipes to make diamonds, so I ain't really feeling no pressure. You were eager to get on the national stage next week against Penn State? Yes, sir. We worried about this game, and then we're going to wash it all behind Sunday and get ready for the next game. No game is bigger than the other, so we're just getting ready for the next game. Coach Narduzzi said uh, just now in his post-game remarks that you're a totally different player than you were a year ago. What have you done to elevate your game to the next level? Just buying into the program and um, understanding the defense more as I get older. What's it feel like to get get three sacks and get, get, get the quarterback you know, running away from you and probably worried about you all, all day? Um, it's a blessing, like I said before. Just understanding what I'm doing and taking calculated risks. And I was successful today, so it was fun, but got to move on to the next game. What kind of risk did you take? Uh, just countering back and stuff like that, and knowing where the quarterback would be once I make my pass rush move. That's just studying his depth and stuff like that. Anything else? Appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.